Throughout WWE's existence, there have been some incredibly memorable title reigns that are fondly remembered. However, WWE are also prone to giving a wrestler a rather unmemorable title reign, and when an image of that specific wrestler is seen with the title in question, fans are left baffled and collectively wonder when on earth that reign actually took place. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE title reigns you had no idea happened. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Chris Jericho, the Hardcore Championship. Chris Jericho has won virtually every major championship imaginable, and for the most part, his reigns, specifically in WWE, have been rather memorable. However, whenever an image on social media is seen that features Jericho with a hardcore title, fans are left a little confused. The majority of WWE fans had no idea that Y2J is a former hardcore champion, and the likely reason for this is because the reign was so incredibly brief. Jericho won the Hardcore title on May 28, 2001's edition of Raw by defeating his future tag team partner The Big Show. His reign would just last a matter of seconds as Rhino would proceed to gore Jericho on the stage, ending Jericho's first and only reign as Hardcore Champion. Number 9. Albert Intercontinental Title Matt Bloom delivered a number of gimmicks throughout his career, but he had his most successful run as Albert in 2001. WWE made the bold decision to have Albert dethrone Kane and for Albert to become Intercontinental Champion. This reign is rarely discussed and it was crazy to think that with all the talent WWE had on their roster in 2001, they gave the win to Albert. Whilst Albert was decent in the ring, he wasn't getting the crowd response that warranted a title win of this magnitude. Albert's reign would last just a few weeks before WWE booked him to drop the title to Lance Storm. Albert winning a title could have worked, that's if he was built up to be a menacing legitimate threat. But the issue was that Albert lacked any ounce of credibility and hadn't won any major matches before he defeated the Big Red Machine. Number 8. Kalisto, multiple time US Champion while somewhat popular, Kalisto never broke out to the mid-card scene in WWE, but one shocking fact about Kalisto's WWE career is that he won the US title on two separate occasions. He won the title twice in 2016 and both times he defeated Alberto Del Rio. It's unclear why these two reigns are never discussed, but it's worth noting that the credibility of the US title was at a bit of a low point in 2016. John Cena's US title reign in 2015 made the US title a worthy title, but when Alberto Del Rio became champion, unfortunately, everything went downhill relatively quickly. Number 7. Mark Henry, European Champion When fans often discuss Mark Henry's accomplishments in WWE, they usually reference Henry's critically acclaimed world title reign from 2011. The one reign from Henry's career that is never discussed is when he became a European champion during the Attitude Era. This is a title that legends such as Triple H, Owen Hart and Shawn Michaels have held, but it's almost as if Henry's reign was so incredibly lifeless that fans have erased it from their memory. In a unique booking move, Henry didn't win the European title, instead he was simply awarded it by Jeff Jarrett for helping Jarrett defeat D'Lo Brown. This instantly sent Henry's reign off the rails, as simply giving a wrestler a title brings the credibility and legitimacy of the title into question. Henry's reign was a total dud and by the next pay-per-view he would drop it to D'Lo Brown, bringing an end to one of the most uninspired title reigns of the entire Attitude Era. Number 6. R-Truth – The Hardcore Championship R-Truth is still very much an active member of the WWE roster and it's crazy to think that Truth was in WWE during the Attitude Era. Whilst Truth reign as Kate Quick during the Attitude Era wasn't anything too special, he did win a title during this era and the title in question would be the Hardcore title. Truth won the infamous title on two separate occasions and both times occurred at live events. This in all likelihood is the reason why fans question if Truth even won a title during the respective era, as footage of the two wins is hard to come by and WWE didn't even release any official photos of him with the title. Truth would actually discuss the hardcore title wins during an interview with Ryan Satin and the WWE veteran even admitted that he doesn't remember who he defeated to win the title. The hardcore title was so quick and abrupt, I don't even remember who I beat. I think Raven beat me for it. Coming from me, the hardcore championship ain't got shiznit on the 24-7 championship. That title had an article by Forbes magazine. Google that. That championship was doing 20 million views per week. I don't remember the hardcore championship doing none of that. Our truth is just amazing, even in just interviews. Number 5. The Undertaker Hardcore Championship 
The Undertaker is one of the greatest names to ever lace up a pair of boots, yet his reign in 2001 as Hardcore Champion seems to have been erased from the history books. The Deadman defeated Rob Van Dam to win the Hardcore title at the Vengeance pay-per-view, and the visual of The Undertaker with the Hardcore title is somewhat humorous. Unlike most Hardcore title reigns that lasted mere minutes, The Deadman's reign lasted 58 days, which brought a great spotlight to the title and it made for some incredibly memorable moments. Even though The Undertaker's reign was entertaining, there must be a logical reason why fans and WWE often alienate this part of The Undertaker's career. It's likely that due to The Deadman having such an iconic career, the hardcore title just had to be naturally forgotten about in favor of the Hall of Famer's other accomplishments. Number 4. Christian as European Champion Fans were baffled in late 2001 when Christian suddenly appeared on TV as European Champion. This confused fans as nobody had witnessed Christian winning the European title, the last thing fans remembered was Bradshaw being European Champion. While the story goes that Christian defeated Bradshaw to win the title on SmackDown, but due to time constraints, the match was cut from the broadcast. This decision to cut the match spoke volumes in relation to how WWE perceived the, the European title during this time. The European title was an afterthought, and they didn't even air footage of the title win on Raw the next week. This lack of care is likely why fans forgot this reign even happened, but unlike the other reigns on this list, it's obvious that it doesn't help that footage of the actual title change has never been made available to watch. Number 3. Randy Orton US Championship Randy Orton has solidified himself as an all-time great, but one of Orton's title reigns has seemingly been lost in the minds of fans and, by extension, WWE themselves. In 2018, Orton became US Champion for the first and only time. Orton faced off against Bobby Roode at the Fastlane event, and Orton won the match and the title. Orton winning a mid-card title should have led to a run similar to that of John Cena in 2015, but WWE had other ideas. This reign was a complete waste of time, which was a massive shame, as the reign had so much potential. Number 2. Jinder Mahal US Championship Speaking of Randy Orton's US title reign, the individual he dropped the title to somehow managed to have a reign that was even more forgettable. Orton dropped the title to Jinder Mahal in a fatal four-way at WrestleMania 34. The match also featured Bobby Roode and Rusev, and going into the match, fans expected Rusev to get the W, as this was during the peak of the Rusev Day storyline. Mahal's reign lasted just eight days before he lost the title to Jeff Hardy, making it one of the most pointless and unmemorable title reigns in company history. WWE clearly had no long-term plans for the once prestigious title, and this disappointing booking is no doubt a key factor in there being so many forgotten reigns. And number one, Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre, WWE Tag Team Champions. Throughout WWE history, there have been some tag teams that flew under the radar. This was particularly the case in 2010s when WWE had a habit of throwing two talents together in hoping of creating magic. This occurred when WWE decided to pair up two of the brightest young stars in the company, those being Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. The two would win the tag team titles at the United Champions pay-per-view in 2010, and on paper, the team had a ton of potential. Sadly, the next month at the Bragging Rights pay-per-view, the duo would drop the titles to the unusual team consisting of John Cena and David Otunga, and this would spark the end of their run as a tag team combination. Fast forward to over a decade after their run as a tag team, and the two are cemented as main eventers in WWE. If the two ever have a featured feud on TV, WWE may look to mention their prior history as tag team champions. The problem with mentioning their established history is that a strong portion of the casual fanbase have no idea that they even had a run as tag team champions, so they may opt to pretend like the 35 day reign never even happened. But there you have it folks, 10 WWE title reigns you had no idea happened. Do you remember these? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.